Okay, now I'm going to show you how to uh, make a slideshow in Photoshop. Um, I'm assuming that you already know how to download the files and they're you either have them on your hard drive already or you followed the link that was on the assignments page. Um, but you've unzipped them and, and done all that. Now, for your major project, you're going to shoot the photographs yourself and you're going to pick 12 of them. And I suggest that you take the 12 that you're going to use and put them in order and change the file names so the file names are ordered 1 through 12 in the order they're going to appear in the slideshow but in this exercise that's already been done also you're going to make a, some kind of a word press processing document and you're going to write out the text that's going to appear on each um, slide and you can also number each one of those 1 through 12 or just type them in the order in a column just hitting return after each one so the first one through 12 um, but that is uh, not already been done for you here. So let's go ahead and first thing we're going to do is to do a slideshow. That's a piece of video when it gets exp exported. So let's go to window and then down here to timeline and open a timeline in Premiere. Now this timeline could be trimmed, it could be moved up and down, it could be undocked and done all sorts of things with. But we're not going to take it from there yet. So I think we have enough space here. So it already has one timeline in it here, but there's nothing in the timeline. But now remember, you've already got your 12 photos out there. We're only going to use six in Photoshop. We'll use 12 when we get to Premiere. We click on this, and we're going to say Add Media. And then you're going to navigate out to your hard drive into the folder where you unzipped the original photos to. And just click on the first one, hold it on the Shift key, and then click on the All right, now I'm going to zoom in uh, uh, by hit sliding this little slider. You can also just click on this to zoom in. And once they're pretty large, um, and the reason for that is you have more control on extending them. Now, there are, I'm going to click on this first one. Notice it's the bottom layer here. And don't worry about the fact that they don't fill up the screen. We're going to fix that. But if you take this little mouse tool and your cursor here and click and start dragging, hold down the mouse and start dragging it to the right, Pay attention to duration there. They're all five seconds, but you're going to drag them out slowly and make them be 15. So this is 5, 15. Now, if it gets too hard to deal with that, like you're having trouble getting it to exactly 15, you need to zoom in a little more. And that gives you tighter control over it. So there's only six of these. So I'm going to do the next one. Select it and drag it out to 5, 15. And then click on the next one and scroll down. If you if you click on the next one, it's highlighted so you don't lose track of which one's which. Okay, now that we've laid all six photos down on the timeline, we've extended each one out to be five seconds and 15 frames, which is five and a half seconds. Uh, we made this folder over here for the text, so now it's time to add the text. So I'm just going to come up here and make sure that the playhead here is at the very beginning of, of the first photo here and so now we're going to go ahead and get the text tool um, where I'm choosing uh, this font you can choose whatever font you want but just try to pick, pick kind of a thick font not a cursive font or one that's real skinny because they don't show up well on video I'm also using 48 point text here but that just happens to work for this particular font I've chosen sometimes you'll have to make the point size a little bigger sometimes you'll have to make it a little smaller and you can click in there and type a text size if you want to you don't have to just choose the ones that are limited to the, what's on the drop down menu when you click on that so anyway just pick a font and then go get your text tool and you can go to your uh, word doc and I'm just going to copy and paste this first one so just go ahead and highlight it there and then do a command C to copy and then switch back over to Premiere and then click where you want it to go and do a command V to paste. Now then click inside it and then just like a word processor get, get rid, word processor, get rid of the, the one there. You can go on the move tool and put it where you want to go. Okay. Then click on the layer so it's selected and go down to the bottom and pick the FX button and go to drop shadow. Now, you've got to experiment around a little bit with this. For this particular font, uh, I, I set these uh, to 5, 26, and 5. Uh, what you have to be careful of is don't use too big of a, of a, of a spread here. 
um, and spread will make it look kind of chunky and ugly so I'm going to keep that back at 26 and then make sure that your size isn't too big here or it's just going to sit in the cloud that's not really a drop shadow a lot of people do that and that's wrong so keep it somewhere between you know 5 and, and 10 and that'll make a nice drop shadow and then click OK okay now then go down to your text layer and drag it out I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see here and just grab the edge of it and drag it so it matches the video so it's five and a half seconds long and then move the playhead to the beginning of the next one go on the text tool okay this time I am see busy campus I'm not going to cut and paste this time I'm just going to type so I click where I want to go and type busy campus I can spell I just can't type and then again click on it so it's selected go down to the FX button and drop shadow and if you didn't change anything this will all be the same so all you gotta do is just click OK then if you want to go to the move tool and you can move it around and then don't forget to go down there and drag it out so it matches the second one so now we're gonna um, cut the video and you can do the same thing on the rest of these okay now you've noticed that we've taken uh, made each one of these texts let me zoom in here just a little bit on each one of them we have zoomed in and uh, and pulled it so this one is the same length as this one and so on they're each five seconds and 15 frames which is five and a half seconds okay so now we're going to go back and we're going to put the um, the transitions in so what we're going to do here is we'll come all the way to the beginning and I'm going to go to the transitions button which is right here and click I'm going to make all the transitions half a second. Notice this says 0.5s, so I'm going to say 0.5, and it'll put the S for me, so I don't worry about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do crossfades, and we can zoom out just a little tiny bit here so we can see more of them at a time. And we're going to drop it right here where they join together on both layers. So we're going to go up here and get crossfade and put one up here and one down here notice how they line up perfectly and then this one here and then this one here and just keep doing that all the way down okay now that you can see we've added the transitions to all of these now what I'm going to do is go down here to the very end I'm just going to click so the playhead moves down there and zoom in a little bit it'll zoom in right where the playhead is and just double check that both of these layers are going to 30 so this one's a little bit long I'm just going to click that and just pull it back to 30 and do the same thing for this one so they're exactly 30 seconds long and then I'm going to add the finishing touches here I'm going to do a little fade to black so let's get I'm still keeping it a half a second fade with black and drop it on the text and fade with black and drop it on the video and then drag all the way back to the front and do the same thing so it fades in drop one on the text and drop one on the video okay now I'm going to zoom back out just a little bit and we're going to add motion to the photos so they have some motion happening to them. We can also do the same to the text, but that's optional. So what we do is these little um, these little uh, arrows here add motion, and they also make the picture zoom to fit the screen. So we're going to click here, and we're going to go zoom. Let's have the first one do a zoom here. You got pan and zoom, pan, pan and pan is moving left or right. Pan is moving left and right only. Pan and zoom zooms it. This zooms in or out. This rotates it. This rotates and zoom. Okay. So we're going to just do a plain zoom. We've got zoom in and zoom out. So let's do zoom in. And this little grid here says where it's going to zoom into. So if you're on the center here, it's going to zoom in and out from the center or to this corner or to this side or to this corner. So just choose a corner. Like if I want to go to upper right corner, let's keep this one to the center. And we want to make sure this is checked to resize to fit the canvas so your image doesn't zoom out and reveal part of the background. So now if I click on this, and it's going to play back kind of slow because it isn't rendered yet and I'll explain render later but see how that's moving okay now also notice the text is not moving so it's optional but you can also do this to the text okay so now we've added the uh, 
the photos we've added motion to the photos uh, we've got the text in there we've created the transitions between the text so the last little piece of editing here is we're going to add the uh, the music so we're just going to zoom out click on this little small icon here to zoom out just a little bit and we're going to come down here to the audio track and click on the little musical symbol and add the audio now you can go out and get your own music from youtube audio library but I've downloaded a bunch of music for you to um, choose from here, uh, which just save you a lot of time. I'm just going to go ahead and just pick this top one here, Long Cold. You can pick whichever one you want. You could listen to a few. But I'm going to go ahead and import this. I'm going to shorten this. It takes a little longer, but I'll just cut the video here. And you'll see it's a lot longer than the actual pieces, but what you got to do is just click here in the timeline and just go to the end of your video here but make sure you have the audio uh, selected and then just click the little scissors and it'll cut it and then you just get rid of the part you don't need just click on it and hit delete on the keyboard and then to uh, fade it in you just do a right click and you're keeping the volume at 100 percent the fade in we're going to bring to one second so you just have to click in here just get rid of the zeros and type one and the fade out is actually going to be over a longer period. Just do three, and it will fade out in three seconds. Now, you, you can listen to it just to see how that goes. I'm not going to actually play it back here because it won't record so good on the screen recorder. But trust me, it, it's going to fade out. So then the last thing you have to do is render out the video. That's where it turns it into an actual MP4 file that you can upload to um, YouTube. So there's two ways to do it. You, you, you either go up here to File, um, export and render video here or down here in the timeline there's this little menu bar you click here and render video it's the same button it's just in two different places so I'm just going to render video here and again this little bar comes up and tells you how long it's going to take now this I'm going to give it a name here so I'm going to tell it to be um, PS for Photoshop slideshow and this is where it's going to go to so I've already got it going to my ICA uploads folder I made but you just click the select folder and just navigate to where you're gonna do it's gonna look a little different because I'm on a PC here but you just navigate to your folder which is on your hard drive okay and then you don't change any of this it's h264 high quality it's a 720p um, and everything else is the same so you just hit render and again I'm going to compress the time for this. I'm going to edit the video because it takes a little while. It takes a couple minutes for this to output. In the meantime, I will cut the video. Okay, so like I said, it, it probably takes a two or three minutes to output the video. And then, of course, it, you know, you send it to your hard drive folder. So then all you have to do is just go there and, uh, and uh, you know, tell, you know, upload it to YouTube. That's, that's all you have to do. Put it on your ICA's page for the ICA. And then when you do the final project, of course, you'll be putting it on your major projects page and lab labeling it as Photoshop Slideshow. Original Photos folder. And then my ICA's folder inside there. And there's the Photoshop Slideshow. Actually, it's this one. And, uh, and I upload that to YouTube. And that's it. Okay? Done.